Hello everyone, this is Omar Hassan. Uh, I'm going to solve a question from uh, May 2, 2023. Uh, question uh, paper, page 811. Uh, let me solve part A of question 1. Work out 1234.4 divided by 8. Now this is a decimal number in the numerator and we don't have a calculator. So just write this like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, point 4 divided by 8. In order to remove the decimal, we have different processes, but in this case, what we can do, you can put a decimal at the end of a number, like I can put a decimal at the end of 8. Because in the numerator, after the decimal, you have one digit, so you can put a zero after the decimal in the denominator. Why? So that I can have equal number after the decimal. I have one number after a decimal in the numerator and I have one number after a decimal in the denominator. When numbers after decimal are equal, you can cancel the decimal. After cancellation, you can write 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 over 80. Divide the numerator and denominator by 2. When you will divide numerator by 2, 2, 6 times 12, 2, 1 times 2, 2, 7 times 14, 2, 2 times 4, divided by 14. Again, you can divide both the numerator and denominator by 2. 2, 30 times 60, 1 will be carried to 7, it will become 17. 2, 8 times 16, 1 will be carried to this 2, it will become 12 to 6 times 12, divided by 2, 20 times 14. Again, you can divide both sides by 2. 2, 15 times 30, 2, 4 times 8, 2, 3 times 6, 2, 10 times 20. And again, you can divide it by 2. And because this is an odd number, 3 is at the end. So what we can do, when you will divide it by 10, I can move the decimal one place on the left. So I can write my answer like 154.3. Because in this case, numerator is an odd number, denominator is an even number, so I can't divide it by 2. So this will be my final answer after working this out. I hope you understood this question. In my next video, I will solve next part of this question. Thank you so much.